we're showing off the Mykonos level today, which is about the halfway point through the Soviet campaign. We've got three campaigns in the game, each one nine missions long, so this one's about the fifth mission in the Soviet one. It's a cooperative mission. Every mission in Red Alert 3 is cooperative. You, you play either with an AI commander or with a friend, if you have one. I don't, so I play with the AI all the time. It was a very interesting challenge, essentially crafting the entire game for two players. There's no notion of a single player campaign because you're always playing with two players. So for the first time in, in the project's history, we're showing off that co-op gameplay. And it's very interesting because in this mission, the allies who you're fighting against, because you're playing as the Soviets, have this structure that we call the tech inhibitor. It prevents you from building certain types of units. So you only have a, a, a very small selection of units as player one, and player two, your buddy, has a different kind of selection, but also very, very meager. So you have to use those units in concert with each other, and you really have to coordinate your attacks on some islands. Some islands, for instance, are anti-aircraft only, and some are air-to-ground only, or ground-to-ground uh, -ground only. So you really have to have good communication with your buddy, and always send the aircraft only after the islands that have the ground defenses, and he'll send only his ground forces to the islands that have the anti-aircraft. So uh, lots, of, lots of coordination going on, and it's kind of uh, telling the kind of cooperation that you need for the rest of the game as well. A unit is under attack. We also are introducing a brand new faction, the Empire of the Rising Sun, which is this Japan-themed faction. We borrow from anime influences, manga influences, hardcore video game influences like Ikaruga. Ikaruga reference, we have this unit in the game called the Skywing slash Seawing, and uh, it comes out of the, the structure that you build it as a submarine. It's underwater. It can only surface to fire on aircraft. It's got a white top on it. Uh, you can transform it, essentially, to make it become a plane, at which point it only shoots ground, and it's got a black uh, surface on it when it flips upside down. So you flip it upside down depending on the circumstances uh, that, that surround you, very similar to the way that the red and, uh, I'm sorry, the white and black worked in Ikaruga. Naval gameplay is a huge, huge part of the game. That doesn't just mean add more water to the map and throw a couple more boats. It's, it means, you know, amphibious units that change their behavior, whether they're on land or on water. Amphibious structures, you can build structures on land, you can also build them on water. Resources out in the water, really pushing the, the, the players out into the water and try to get them to think about, uh, you know, water gameplay as a whole new strategic layer that, that really RTS games have had in the past, but certainly not to this level. It would not be a Command & Conquer game without some cheesy full motion video. And in fact, this morning we announced the entire cast for the game. And we've got some, some, some pretty heavy hitters. Uh, Jenny McCarthy reprises the role of Tanya. We've got Tim Curry as the, the premier for the Soviet side. The Emperor is George Takei of Sulu fame, Star Trek fame. And on the Allied side, we have Jonathan Price and uh, J.K. Simmons. Uh, so this is actually the fourth RTS game that we've done on the 360. So we, we've kind of gotten to the rhythm of constant improvement when it comes to uh, creating a UI and a control scheme that works well on the 360. For Red Alert 3, we're differentiating it a bit from CNC 3, our last game on the console. We're building upon the UI that we did for Kane's Wrath, which was a radial UI. Previous console games that we've done had, had, had a linear UI, and it was tough because you'd always have to be over your base. You had to click on your structure in order to get to you know your tanks. You had to uh, click on your barracks to get your infantry. With the new radial UI that we have, it's very simply just pull that right trigger. It brings out the build menu no matter where you are. You use the right thumbstick to circumnavigate and you drill down and it's kind of easy as pie. It's, it's much, much faster than the earlier 360 games that we've done. So Command & Conquer Red Alert 3 will be out uh, for the PC in late October and for the Xbox 360 just a few weeks later in early November.